Shalom Warm Yashara. I want to get infinite honors to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shah, by Hashem Rakakadash. I want to give double honors to our teachers, the apostles of Great Millstone, and salutation to my fellow ladies in Yahweh Shah, pushing this truth across the four winds. Peace and blessings to the whole four legs. All right, I'm going to um, go through some precepts, to, man, to show that, man, our, this thing out is our, of ours is all about spirituality, man. Um, it's not about um, being carnal, ignorant, belligerent, and um, dealing with controversy like the people of this world. All right? Faith is all about believing without seeing. All right? Without believing believing in something, without seeing the manifest manifestation of it in the physical realm. All right? So when, when it comes to us being delivered, and us going to war against our enemies, we're spiritual men. Our weapon of warfare is our faith in the scriptures. And we believe that our Heavenly Father and our great King are going to protect us from all wiles of the wicked one and our enemies, all of these nations. All right? When you go through these scriptures, you're not, you're not going to find uh, our great King telling us to be carnal. All right. He told us vengeance is of him and he told us to wait ye upon him. He didn't tell us to to uh, buy a bulletproof vest, to uh, go get uh, gu get guns and go to gun ranges. He didn't tell us to um, go and uh, get military training and learn ninjutsu. Nothing's wrong with doing those things, but that's not how we're going to take down our enemy. All right. That's not how we're going to take down uh, a power on earth that has an army, army tanks, Marines, an air force, a Navy. All right. Destroyers, drones, laser beams, nuclear missiles. We're not going to take him down by the way, by through his blessing. He's blessed with these things. All right. We're going to take him down through teaching the truth of the scriptures. All right for tearing down mental strongholds, all right, for revamping our mind, all right, from getting ourselves out of a Gentile mindset. That's how we're going to be delivered. Once our, our minds are renewed, all right, our thought patterns clean, all right, and we are walking like a subject in the kingdom to come, then our Heavenly Father and Great King is going to endow us with spiritual powers. All right? We're going to do things that is uncommon and unknown in this physical realm. We're going to manipulate the, the laws of gravity. All right? All of these uh, laws that people in, the filth, uh, people in the physical realm are bound to, all right? We're going to be able to defy gravity, to defy the laws of physics, manipulate the elements, okay? And that comes with faith. That comes with faith, man. All right? That's how we're going to uh, get our salvation, through having faith in our great king, man, and his words and his doctrine, okay? And then we're going to go through, like the Christians have this saying, do a, what would Jesus do? I'm about to go through some precepts to show what Yahweh Shai did. I said Jesus for edification's sake and sarcasm, but we're going to do what Yahweh Shai did, all right? We're, we're going to be wise as serpents, harmless as doves, and deal with controversy the way he dealt with controversy. So I'm going to start off with uh, John the 10th chapter, all right? I'm going to start at the 38th verse. And it reads, but I, I do, though ye believe not me, Salakia, but if I do, though you believe not me, believe the works that you may know, that you may know and believe that the father is in, in me and I in him. And those works, well, he was doing just what I said. He was walking on water, raising the dead, healing the sick, healing the sick. Uh, making the blind see, making the lame walk, all right? He was defying the laws of physics, all right? He was like, look at these things that I'm doing. 
And we 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 didn't see what we, he's doing, but we believe these words. That's why the scriptures say, uh, "Blessed are those that believe and have not seen." That's what he told Thomas. Okay. Therefore, they sought again to take him, but he escaped out of their hand. See, when they when they came to uh, our great king's enemies came to take him and subdue him and kill him. He didn't take up arms. He didn't pull out a, 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 a sword out of his sheath. He didn't take a, arrows out of his quiver and go to war with the Romans, or, uh, those wicked-ass niggas, all right? He was wise as a serpent, harmless as a dove. He flew away. He got away. His, it, it, his weapons of warfare were not carnal, okay? And that's what we have to do. When we see the, our adversary come, we agree with our adversary quickly, all right? We see danger coming, we hide ourselves, all right? He said, I've sent you as sheep amongst wolves. All a sheep could do is get out the way. It's written in another place, the most high liking us to a worm. All the thing, only defense, a mechanism a worm have is to dig deeper in the ground so the bird can't get them. That's it. And that's what we are. That's why I say be wise as a serpent. A serpent, we got it when we see danger coming, all right? We see uh, <laughs> controversy coming. We use the spirit to protect us. We use this doctrine to protect us. Agree with your adversary quickly. Somebody threaten you, somebody want to kill you, uh, walk away. What the scriptures say, a soft answer uh, takes away wrath, man. Roughly paraphrasing. All right? When they came to lay hands on Yahweh, he just left. He got away from them demons, man. Okay? He didn't try to fight them. All right? I'm going to go back a couple of verses. This is John, a ch couple of chapters. This is John chapter 8, verse 58. And Yahweh shall say unto them, Verily, verily, I say unto you, before Abraham was, I am. And that's a deep scripture. All right? That's a deep scripture. Because these people were carnal and simple. All right? So he was saying he was here before Abraham, and Abraham had been there, uh, had to live hundreds and hundreds of years before them. But it, it was it went back, it, it went over their head. When you read Colossians, the first chapter, the 15 verses, say he was the first begotten of the Most High. He was the first creation, of, he, he was the first created of creation. All right? And that went over their head. He was Adam. All right? So that went over their head. All right? And when and they and they took it as him being blasphemous. So let's see what they tried to do when he said that. Then took up they stones to cast at him. But Yahweh hid himself and went out of the temple, going through the midst of them, and so passed by. All right, did that make our great king a coward? No. Our great king, no, he had to he had to come. He had a mission to come do. His mission was to come die for the elect of Yasharala, man. If he would have took up arms and went to fighting, man, he would have went off his mission. Like when you look at the movie, uh, The Book of Eli, he had a scene in there where the chick was about to get raped and he wanted to go help her. But he was like, he could have went and killed all them niggas as you can see in the movie, but he was like, stick on the path, stick on the path, stick on the path. And he just kept going. That's what Yahweh was doing. Yahweh could have called down the Legion of Angels. If he's walking on water and manipulating Ellen's, how much he couldn't, he couldn't just kill his enemies with with the snap of a finger, man. All right? But what did he do? He had all of that power. He had all that power upon him. The spirit of the Lord on, upon him heavy. And the scriptures say that he ran away. He went out of the temple and went through the midst of them and passed by. He got the fuck. That's what he did. And that's what we're to do in this society. We get into it with a Christian. They come up there trying to talk shit. Now, I'm not going to get over righteous. If they come putting their hands on you, you get them off of them. You defend yourself. But if somebody come threatening you and talking shit, let them talk shit. Ignore them. Keep bringing out the scriptures, man. All right? If, if, if somebody uh, puts their hand on us or, or shoots us, the most high commission that. When you read Psalm 68, uh, the 68 chapter, he say he controls the issues of, from death. All right. So if somebody was to lay harm on, on us or touch us a hair on our head, the most high pre, um, prohibited. I mean, the most high let it happen. He commissioned it. He controls all events, man. 
All right? So the most high is our defense. Uh, we got 2 Thessalonians, the first chapter, the sixth verse. What does it say? It's a righteous thing for the most high to give tribulation to those that trouble us. So if we do have issues with people coming against us, coming against this truth, man, our, our weapon of war is to pray to Yahweh Bashim Shah to protect them and deal with them as he sees fit. I'm gonna give you an example. This is uh this is Second Timothy four. I'm gonna go to uh fourteen. And it reads, let's see what Paul did. Alexander the coppersmith did me much evil. We got people out here that's doing us much evil, threatening our lives, slandering us, uh, even trying to lay hold on some of us. We, 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 we have got physical uh, these years I've been in the truth, but we wasn't the aggressors. We were defending ourselves, all right? The thing what you're supposed to do is what Paul did. He said, Alexander the coppersmith did me much evil. Did he take, let's see what he did. Did he, he go do him much evil? Did he go render evil for evil? Did he go try to fight him? Did he go try to stab him? Let's see what he did. He say, may Yahweh reward him according to his works, of whom be thou, be thou where also, for he have greatly withstood our words. And that's what we do. We call out to Yahweh Bashim Shai, hey, deal with vocab alone according to his works, Yahweh Bashim Shai. Deal with these niggas that's coming against us and slattering us, calling us pedophiles, so on and so forth, Yahweh Bashim Shai. Deal with them according to their words, Yahweh Bashim Shai. That's our weapons of war. And what are we supposed to do? Keep preaching, keep teaching, keep prophesying. That's it. We'll put on his side to lose. We'll put on his side to go through tri tribulation and persecution. And the Most High told us when it comes upon us, count it all joy. All right? He says, count it all joy. All right, tribulation, persecution, builds character. All right? The most high put these demons on us like this. The most high got these devils over us like this, uh, bearing down this, the rod, bearing down his rod. Let me get that. Uh, Isaiah 10, verse 5, and it reads, O Assyrian, the rod of mine anger, and the staff of their hand is in my indignation. I will send him against a hypocritical nation. So, I mean, this is what the Most High, this is, the Most High got vocab Malone coming against us. The, vocab, the Most High got two-thirds of our people coming against us. He said, I put you as sheep amongst wolves. All right? And he's told us how to deal with that controversy. Against the people of my wrath, I would give him a charge to take the spoil and to take the prey and tread them down like the mire of the streets. The Most High is doing this to us for transgression his laws in this life and ancient time past. And he told us to take it. He told us to take it, man. All right? He didn't tell us to fight back. He told us to take it, be spiritual, long suffer, all right? And teach us and prophesy, be a light to the Gentiles. Okay? I'm going to go back to, to John. Uh, well, yeah, big brother. It's John. This is John. Chapter 7. And I'm going to start at. Start at 19. All right. Did not Moses give you the law? This was the, this was our great king talking to niggas, wicked ass niggas. All right, and net and yet none of you keep the law. That's why he told uh, his disciples uh, when the when the when the when the Pharisees tell you to keep the law, uh, keep the law. He say, but be, beware of the leaven of the Pharisees because they was hypocrites. Blind guys, they was telling you to keep the law, but they wasn't keeping the law. All right? Why got why go ye about to kill me? See, they was telling everybody to keep the law, but they was around there trying to kill Yahweh by Shemal Shai. Kill our great king Yahweh Shai. All right? They was trying to kill him. What the script what does the law say? Thou shall not kill. All right? They was trying to break the law. They were being hypocrites. All right? 
and, and let's but when they was trying to kill him, let's see how our great king dealt with it. The people answered and said, Thou has a devil who goes about to kill thee. Now they're lying. Now they're bearing false witness, saying he have a devil on him. All right? Let's, did he take up arms for him against them? No. And Yahweh shot said unto them, I have done one work, and ye all marvel. Mo Moses therefore gave unto you circumcision, not because it is of a Moses, but of the fathers. And ye on the Sabbath day circumcise a man. If a man on the Sabbath day receives circumcision, that the law of Moses should not be broken, are you not angry at me? Because I have made a man every whit hole on the Shabbat. Okay? And he was like, how are you going to um, circumcise a man on the Shabbat when it's supposed to be a day of rest? All right? Now, you're gonna give, you gonna you would do that on the Shabbat, but when it comes to me, healing a, bro, a, a brother on the Shabbat, you, you, you want to kill me. All right? That, that They were wicked because the scriptures in, in the law, it says anybody that's found working on the Shabbat should be put to death. All right. But when it, but they were being hypocrites, they wasn't keeping the law. Judge not according to the appearance, but judge, but judge righteous judgment. Then said some of them of Jerusalem is not this he whom they seek to kill. You see. The people gonna want to kill you, but you won't be right in front of your enemy. The, the our uh, you know, in the Psalms twenty third chapter, what does it say? He say, uh, I will set a table before you in front of your enemies, man. He was out there prophesying and teaching in front of the people that wanted to kill him. But lo, he spoke boldly. Then see, that's what we gotta keep doing. Let them do their little shenanigans. Let vocab do all that shit and, and slander. When we out there teaching these motherfuckers coming up, looking at us like they want to kill us. Well, this is what we supposed to do, speak boldly. And they say they said nothing to him. They didn't do nothing to him because Yahweh Bashim al Shai had his angels um, round about them that, oh, that do his bidding, man. Do the rulers know indeed that he is the very anointed? All right? So uh, Yahweh Shai was in the midst of sheep amongst wolves. He was in the midst of people that wanted to kill him, and he kept prophesying boldly. And not a hair was harmed on his head until it was time for him to do what he was created to do. All the years, that I mean, all throughout the gospel, you didn't hear nobody hitting him or nothing until it was time for him to go out and teach. Yes, he was stricken amongst, amongst men. Yes, he was rejected amongst men and slandered and scoffed at. But guess what? No harm came to him. Uh, when it was time for he had his daily bread, he had clean water, he had clothes. The Most High gave him everything he needed to do to do his mission. And not a hair on his head was hurt until it was time for him to go as a sheep led to the slaughter for the uh, tr for your transgressions and for my transgressions, man. Okay? But he never took up arms, man. Now, when he come back, he going to be, you know, with the shits. He going to be ready to get it in. He, he's he's going to dance in the blood of his enemies. All right. He's going to be he's going to be staying with the blood of his enemies. Who is that coming for Basra? With the blood of grapes on his ass, on him, Salakia. All right. Who is that on uh, Revelation 19 with many crowns on his head? And he had many crowns on his head from from going through the earth, uh, taking the dominion away from the kings of the earth, man. All right. When he comes back, vengeance is going to be his. And we're to wait up on him. We are to wait up till he rise up to the to the prey. And we're joint heirs with him. Lord willing, we're in that righteous number. And he's going to give us that power that's oozing from him. He's going to give it to us. Then he's going to let us get it in. But right now, we are led as sheep to the slaughter, man. We have to be humble and persevere. We are not supposed to take up uh, weapons and, 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 and deal like this devil deals, man. All right? Let me get another precept. This is uh, Jeremiah. 38 and 17, and it reads, all right, then said Jeremiah to Zedekiah, thus said Yahweh, Bashim Yahweh the power of hosts, the power of Yasharala, 
if thou wilt surely go forth unto the king of Babylon's princes, then thy soul shall live. This shall not be, and this city shall not be burnt with fire, and thou shall live in thine house. All right, the Most High has put us in the hand of our enemies, and he and back then it's nothing new under the sun. He told Jeremiah to tell the king of Israel, wicked ass nigga Zedekiah, look, go uh, get in a position of servitude. To, to the king of Babylon, because y'all been transgressing my law, my laws going off, all right, and I'm going to let you and your house live, all right, di, but di, these niggas in this society that want to bear arms, the, the modern day Sakari, the modern day zealots, they're going to, the same thing that befell Israel during the time of Jeremiah, when they didn't, didn't, didn't follow Yahweh Bashim Awashai's word that the prophet gave, this same thing is going to happen to the niggas of this damn time wearing bulletproof vests, shoot, going to gang rangers, talking about they're going to protect themselves against the enemy. Okay? But if thou will not go forth to the king of Babylon's princes, that means submit unto him, and you want to take up arms but and go to war against him and resist him, then shall the city be given into the hand of the Chaldeans, and they shall burn it with fire, and they shall not escape out of their hand. All right? And Zedekiah said unto Jeremiah, I am afraid of the Jews that are fallen to the Chaldees, lest they deliver me in their hand, and they mock me. But Jeremiah said, They shall not deliver thee. Obey, I beseech thee, the voice of Yahweh, which I speak unto thee, so it shall be well unto thee, and thou shalt live. But if thou refuse to go forth, this is the word that Yahweh have showed me. And behold, all the women that are left in the king of Judah's house shall be brought forth unto the king of Babylonian princes. And those women shall say, Thy friends have set thee on, and have prevailed against thee. Thy feet are sunk in the mire, and they are turned away back. So they shall, so they shall bring out all thy wives and thy children to the Chaldeans, and they shall not escape out of their hand. But they shall be taken by the hand of king of Babylon, and thou shalt cause the city to be burnt for, with fire. Then Zedekiah said unto Jeremiah, let no man know these words, and thou 